When you set up your CardPoint hosted payment page, you get access to a page editor that allows you to edit and change certain fields on the page if you want to. If you didn't know that you had access to this editor, this video is going to give you a quick peek at many of the customizations that you can do. This is Brian Manning, and whether you've been using CardPoint hosted payment page for a while now or you're about to get started, you should know that you have access to this page and a page editor that comes with it that allows you to customize the hosted payment page to match your company. I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough on the editor itself and show you some of the basics so you know what's available to you and how to customize it on your own, all without the help of a programmer or customer support. So let's get started. When you activate your CardPoint hosted payment page, you'll get a welcome email with login credentials to the page editor and you'll be taken to the design tab, which is the first of the three tabs that you have control of inside the page editor. This is what the page editor interface looks like. You can see the page is built with a drag and drop functionality. Here on the left, you have the design elements, data fields, and optional input fields that can be added to the page by clicking and dragging over to the main part of the page, which is right here. So as you add elements, you build the page. You have some elements of the payment page that are preloaded for you, which cannot be changed or deleted, such as the payment details section or the cardholder name and billing information, just for example. The main part of the screen shows the page exactly how the live page is laid out. There's a submenu that allows you to configure the payment confirmation page as well as the payment decline page. You can also customize the receipt that gets emailed to your customer after they make a successful purchase. And before we move on to the connect tab, you have these three buttons here on the upper right. A design settings, which lets you change the background of the page as well as the font, size, and color of the different text elements on the page. You have a preview button, which opens a preview of the page itself in another window in your browser. And then finally, a save button, which publishes all of the changes that you have made on your hosted payment page. Next is the Connect tab, which allows you to build a payment page that holds a specific dollar amount. This feature is useful if you have a product or service with a fixed price and you want a permanent page link attached to your website or your sales process. Once you build your payment link, you can embed the page into your website by copy and pasting simple code given to you here, or you can simply click the option to get the URL payment link and send that link via email. You can also add an invoice number if applicable, so you can include the payment link with the invoice if needed. Under the notifications page, you can deselect the box that tells the system to email your customers a receipt and even specify your own return to website URL, which would take the place of the default payment confirmation page. Finally, the payments tab is a reporting function and keeps track of all the payments made through the hosted payment page. If this is the first time that you're seeing the CardPoint hosted payments page and want more information about this page itself and the CardPoint system, check the links in the description to get in touch with me. For more CardPoint tutorials, merchant account trainings, and payment page tutorials just like this one, be sure to click on that subscribe button because I'll be covering other payment page options that will allow you to further customize this page and your payment collection software. When you subscribe, you'll receive notifications when future videos are posted. So share this video with your friends and colleagues and comment below if you have questions about the tips shared here. I'm Brian Manning and thanks for watching.